Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today we have a very small topic. Uh, people are asking this question a couple of times to me that what do you mean by BOM and what do you mean by DOM? BOM means a browser object model and the DOM means a document object model. You must have heard about a document object model when we work with the UI automation and Selenium and finding the XPath and CSS from there. But what exactly is BOM about? So BOM stands for browser object model. Unlike DOM, first of all, there are no standards defined for BOM. So remember uh, this thing, there are no standards for BOM. And who defined those standards? Let's see, there are no W3C specific standards are defined. It means every browser, they can uh, define their BOM structure accordingly. So we have different browsers. We have Chrome, we have Firefox, we have Safari, Internet Explorer, Edge Driver and Edge Browser such uh, browsers are available in the market they can define the bomb structure accordingly so bomb i would say is a is a very high level uh, structure in which the dom actually exists so i would say a bomb is a superset of a dom so here in this diagram if you see that the first object inside the bomb is a window object and under this particular window object we have number of frames frame is just like an array so we can have number of frames over here let's see frame number one frame number two frame number three we can maintain the history, location, navigator, screen, whenever you want to manipulate any window based objects or from one window to another window you really want to move or you want to check the history, you want to uh, do some backward forward navigations and uh, refreshing a screen resolution, the location and all such things coming directly from the window and window is the first, I would say, structure of the bomb. Then along with that window is uh, also having one document this is your dom actually under dom then you will have a more uh, html based document is there let's see we have anchor tags are available we have applet we have areas then we have different forms are available different images are available different layers different links are available like that right so for dom there are standards are defined right guys standards are defined by w3c okay so bomb mainly what is the major task of the bomb mainly is used to manage the browser window and enable communication between the different uh, windows are available let's see i have two windows window number one window number three and window number four like that if you really want to communicate between these two windows in this case a bomb can be used for that right then each html page that we are going to load into the browser window it becomes a document object so dom is more of an html document Okay, this HTML document with the combination of that XML document, which is having multiple nodes, right? We have different nodes like under div, then we have input tag is available under, right? This div is available under some uh, UL tag or something like this. Fine. So BOM has many objects, methods and the properties that are not part of the DOM structure. DOM is having its own separate structure and BOM is uh, having the mainly at the higher level side that frame, history and all such things. If you see the more micro level details over here, see this is again. So here, this is the overall a bomb structure, the browser object, and then under which we have a history, navigator, location, and a screen. And then, then we have a frame as an array. And under that we have arrays of frames are available, frame number F1, frame number F2, and so on. And then again, if you see that, okay, under that particular window, we have this a DOM structure is available. And under that DOM, we have different forms right but you must have seen that okay there is a login form there is a registration form is there where the form where id is equal to something like this right and then under that particular form we can have different buttons text reset text area password select number of options file upload hidden submit checkboxes radio buttons are available right same thing that under document we have a, a location applets different images we have document element anchor tags, embedded links, plugins, style sheet, what all the CSS, everything is part of your doc, uh, document object. Otherwise, there are some other objects also are available. They are part of the DOM object, right? So all the web elements, all checkboxes, buttons, text fields and everything, they are also part of this particular form or maybe the document object model, you can say that. So if you see this, this is the complete uh, BOM. Under this, we have a DOM structure is available like that. So for BOM, there are no standards. Any browser, Firefox, Chrome, and uh, Safari, or Internet Explorer, or any kind of browser, they can define the BOM accordingly. 
but for document object model there are w3c standards are available so document object model is a kind of uh, i would say uh, api to uh, manage the document to manage their uh, html uh, document so if you see this particular uh, amazon website you must have seen you just when you open chrome dev tools same thing you can do it on your firefox also let's you go to inspect over here and you go to console and you go to elements under element this is complete document type html so this is your document html where starting with html tag then we have header then we have body under body we have div tag and number of elements are available and every a tag is called a node for example let's see i want to inspect this particular search field this search field is having its own input tag so this is a kind of node this node is having some parent node or maybe sibling nodes are available so they all are the properties of the a dom document object model and every node is having its own html tag this is html tag and there are different attributes are available for example type is the attribute id is the attribute value is the attribute class is the attribute and different number of attributes are available right and then along with that inside the dom you will see the styling component also for css that they have written that what exactly the look and feel of that particular element all the styling display properties positioning properties all such thing navigation properties they are defined under this particular element styling property for css with respect to css for that particular uh, element and that element is available inside your document object model right but whenever you want to interact with let's see uh, you go to console and you simple write let's see window right as i told you that uh, main first object is what window object of the dom and you just really want to check okay what is the history location so you can check it over here window is the main object dot let's see i want to uh, simple check that okay navigator see navigator object is available so you will get the navigator object properties over here all the properties all the different uh, attributes are available under navigator you can check it here let's say i want to check something else window dot alert so alert is not part of dom right so let's say i want to print something like this hello naveen so you can say alert is coming hello naveen is coming so this is coming because of bomb is defined under this particular window object this is just like alert if you must have seen that simple alert method you can write anything okay let's see hi so printing hi with the message so same thing you can do it with the alert window dot alert as well so if you same thing if you check it okay fine window dot i want to check the history see this history so you can check the complete history object that you are okay you are getting it over here like that right so this is the basic difference between a bom and the dom so that's all for this particular video guys i hope now it's clear between the dom and a bom if someone is asking you the question about bom and dom please explain that bom is a superset of a uh, dom thank you so much that's all for this small video i'll see you in the next video guys right? till then take care and god bless you and please subscribe to the channel guys